between uh, our back then for your next lesson and your uh, next lesson will be subtracting whole numbers with uh, mixed fraction okay and this time we're gonna subtract a fraction from a whole number okay so let's just have uh, five examples then we're gonna wrap your lesson for today and uh, we're just gonna I'm just gonna give you your assignment quickly okay so let's start now, uh, subtracting whole number is a whole G minus 1 plus 4. Okay. Now, we have here, we have here a whole number and a mixed number. Okay. Now, when we are subtracting um, a whole number with a fraction. Okay. Now, how do we do this? Uh, first, to answer this, we must change the whole number into a mixed fraction. Okay? The same thing uh, to the one that we are subtracting. Okay? This is a mixed fraction. Uh, for us to subtract this two, okay, we must change this whole number first into a mixed fraction so that both of them are the same. Okay? That's when we can already subtract. Now, how do we change this? Okay. We're going to borrow 1 from 3. Okay. So, uh, to change 3 into a mixed uh, number, we're going to borrow 1 from 3. So, uh, if we can remove 1 from 3, 3 will become 2. Okay. Now, we have to add 1 to uh, 2 so that it will become 3. How? By following or copying the denominator. Okay? Let's copy the denominator, which is 4. And to make this one, your denominator must be 4 also. Why? Because 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. Okay? And 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay, therefore, 2 and 4 4 is 3. 3 here, uh, the next number of 3 is 2 and 4 4. Okay, so now because of that, we can now subtract 1 uh, minus 1 and 1 4. We are now subtracting 2 mixed fraction or two mixed number. So how to subtract that? Just subtract the whole number first and subtract the fraction. So we subtract 2 minus 1 equals to 1. And subtracting similar fraction, just copy their denominator which is 4. And subtract their denominator which is 4 minus 1 that is 2. Okay. So therefore, our answer here is four, uh, 1 and 3 four. Okay? So let's have some more examples. Just remember again that in subtracting a whole number with a mixed fraction, just change the whole number into a mixed fraction so that you can subtract the three. So how about we have 5, 5 minus 2 and 1 half. Okay, so here we are again subtracting whole number with a mixed fraction. Okay, so how do we answer that? First, we have to change this first or rename this whole number first into a mixed fraction. So that we will be able to subtract that because we are already two in this fraction. Okay? So how do we change this whole number into a mixed fraction? By borrowing one. We're gonna borrow one from five. So five minus one is four. Okay. And just follow the denominator. Okay. Always follow the denominator so that will be 
uh, similar to the Now, two here. So to make this one, your numerator must be two also. Okay. Because two divided by two is equal to one. Okay. And one here plus four is five. Therefore, four and two to here is five. So let's change five into a mixed fraction. Okay, or a mixed number. Now because because our uh, whole number here is a mixed fraction now, therefore then we can uh, subtract the two. Why? Because uh, they are the same mixed fraction and they have a similar fraction if you have the same denominator. Okay? So let's subtract, sub subtract the whole number first and subtract the fraction. Now, let's do that. 4 minus 2 is 2. Okay? Now, subtracting similar fraction, let's copy their denominator, which is 2. Okay? 2. Now, 2 minus 1, uh, subtract the numerator, is 1. Okay? So, therefore, for our final answer, that's 2 and 1 half. Okay? So, let's have some more samples. Okay? Now, the same whole number minus a mixed number. That's 10 minus 3 and 1 third. Okay? 10 minus 3 and 1 third. We are subtracting whole number with a mixed number. Now, to answer this, we must change the whole number first into a mixed fraction so that we are the same. Okay? Change this whole number first into a mixed fraction. How? So then about 1 from 10. Or 10 minus 1, 9. Okay. Now, if you have your fraction, you follow the denominator so that they are similar with each other. So, if that denominator here is 3, so your uh, here also is 3 denominator. Okay. So, to make this 1, your denominator must be 3 also. Okay. Because 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 1 plus 9 is 10. Okay? So we just change 10 here into a mixed number. Because 9, 3 thirds here is 10. Okay? So because it's a mixed number, we can now subtract 9, 3 thirds minus 3 and 1 third. Okay? We are similar with each other because we have the same denominator. Now to subtract, subtract from the whole number. Now, 9 minus 3, 6. Okay? Now, for the fraction, let's copy the denominator, which is 3, and subtract the numerator, which is 3 minus 1 and 3. So we have, for our answer, 6 and 2 thirds. Okay? Did we get it then? Okay. Now, let's have. Uh, our fourth example. Let's have 12 minus 12 minus 3 and 1, 2. 3 and 1, 2. Okay? So we have the same whole number subtracted by a mixed number, okay? Now, to answer this, the same process, let's change the whole number into a mixed number. How? We borrow only 1. Let's borrow 1 from 12, so 12 minus 1 is 11. Now, for the fraction, copy the denominator, okay? So, this type, so for our 
called here generically is five of them. Okay? But to make this fraction as one, for our numerator, we must have five of them. Why? Because five divided by five is one. And one plus eleven is twelve. Okay? So eleven five by here is equal to twelve. Twelve here for its next number is eleven. So we can now subtract, subtract 3 and 1 fifth, okay? So subtract, subtract first the whole number and subtract the fraction. So 11 minus 3, 8, okay? So for our fraction here, copy their denominator which is 5. And for our numerator here, subtract their numerator, which is 5 minus 1 plus 4. Okay. Therefore, we have 8 and 4 fifths for our answer. Okay, let's have last example. So, wrap our last example today. Let's have 21 and a 3. Okay. 21 minus 20, 5 over 6. Okay. Well, now, the same, we are subtracting whole number with a mixed fraction. Okay. Now, to answer this, change first the whole number into a mixed number. Now, how? Borrow one. We're gonna borrow one from twenty one. So twenty one minus one that's twenty eight. Okay. And for the fraction here, we must follow their denominator so that their uh found here is the same denominator. So six. And to make this one for our numerator here must be six also. Okay. So six. Divided by 6 is 1. And 1 plus 20 is 21. Therefore, 26 here is 21. 21 here. So its next number is 26 over 6. Okay? So we can also drop 20, 5 over 6. Okay? Well, so we are now subtracting two similar mixed numbers. Okay? So subtract the whole number first, we subtract the fraction. So 20 minus 20 is 0. Okay, so there's no whole number here. Now plug in the denominator, which is 6. And subtract their denominator, which is 6 minus 5, that is 1. Therefore, for our final answer, that's 1. Okay, so that's how you subtract. Uh, whole number with a mixed number. Just change the whole number first into a mixed number so that you can subtract it. Okay? And then follow the their denominator uh, so that we will be similar with each other. Okay? So that's it for today. I just send your your mommy your assignment uh, for this lesson. Okay? Thank you for your time. See you next uh, lesson.